In this Debaco University video, we go over transitioning your cannabis plants from the vegetative stage to the flowering stage. While this may depend on the strain you're growing or indoor or outdoor, I'll try to give you helpful hints in all of those situations. All right, let's go over transitioning cannabis from vegetative to the flowering stage, sometimes called fl flipping the plants. So first off, making the change. Well, it can depend on the starting material and what type of plant type you're growing. For example, you're growing seeds, or do you start from clones? Uh, or do you have a photo period dependent, or do you have an auto flower? That's gonna kind of influence significantly when you make that change, or if the plants make that change on their own, you're dealing with auto flowers. So starting with the seeds compared to clones uh, comparison. When timing the transition, be aware of the stage of root development. Clones tend to have an aggressive top or vegetative growth, uh, and they grow that a little bit faster than seeds in the early stages. So be sure also to inspect the roots. If you're going through in any plant, uh, it's good to kind of take, take it out of the container if you can, uh, inspect the roots, make sure the root structure one is looking healthy and well-developed before you're gonna put it under the strain of going through the flipping from the vegetative to the flowering phase. Now, if you're looking at photo period dependent, so strains, they change from the vegetative to the flowering cycles based purely on the duration of light or photo period that they're exposed to. For auto flower strains, remember the transition's based only on plant age, so knowing when you started them will influence when they're naturally gonna go through that flip automatically. For those growing photo period strains, you have a little bit more options, particularly indoors. You're looking at when do you decide to make that flip of the photo period from the vegetative stage to the flowering stage. So this can also depend, as I said, indoor, you have that control. Uh, outdoors, not so much. Uh, these transitions will occur for both indoor and outdoor locations. Uh, for indoor locations, offer more grower control of timing. Keep in mind for the indoor uh, growers that might be growing in grow tents or ceiling height limited areas, plants are still continue going to grow vertically uh, after you change the vegetative to flowering stage. So you don't want to run them all the way to the top and then flip them, thinking they're going to stunt and stop. They're still going to continue to stretch. For outdoor growers, this will require growers to make decisions based on the conditions uh, that are out of growers' controls, meaning the photo period is going to change naturally in the outdoor environment. What the outdoor grower has control over is when they start those plants or when those plants go in the ground. That can influence and time it well with the natural photo period to match up when they'll naturally change, change over and flip to match so that you'll have a well-developed plant. Now the great debate of leaves versus buds, vegetative or flowering. There is a need for a plant to produce quality leaves and good morphology to be able to support flowers or buds. While growers tend to focus on the buds, it is important to consider the general plant shape and productivity. I mean, if you don't have enough leaves to capture the sun, they won't have enough energy to push quality uh, buds or flowers. Without a quality plant structure, the buds will suffer, so timing is important for growers to maximize this total production. So it is a little bit of a balance, a documentation, both in written and picture form, to know when you flipped your plants uh, is important to try to determine, did you leave them in the vegetative stage too long? Did you not leave in the vegetative st st stage long enough? Are you getting the quality production? And are you getting it in the maximum efficiency? So hopefully this gives you a little insight in making that transition from the vegetative to the flowering stage, depending on your specific conditions.